Hello guys, today we sharp our knife with a wet stone. So this is why I put the stone in the water. Uh, if you check on the instruction inside the box, they say that uh, the stone uh, must stay in the water at least a minute. Some people keep the stone 10 hours, some people one day. If you can do one hour before that you sharp your knife, it will be more than enough. But always is good for me follow the instruction of the company where you buy the stone. The, this company sent this stone uh, six months ago. Sorry, I was busy, but now I will try to show you how you sharp your knife. Uh, now I will show you the knife. If you come closer, that is not sharp anymore. And after I show you what you can find in the box to sharp your knife. I hope you can notice that the blade is not sharp anymore and there is some dents. Now we will remove them. So to show you that it doesn't cut, I will try with the paper. I don't know who cut the paper at all with the knife, but everybody show like this. I show it to you too. Plus with the wind is more complicated. Okay, but my more concern is with the food. So I show you with this bag, this beautiful uh, loaf of bread. Let's try. Doesn't cut. This is not a knife bread, but if when it will be very sharp, we'll cut also the bread. Before that we sharp the knife, I show you what we have inside our box because you have a base and also these uh, tools. Because when you sharp your knife, you should sharp with the angles of uh, 15 degrees. So this can help us to keep the right angles to sharp our knife. Plus, inside here, you have another small stone. This stone is not for the knife, but is for the other stone. After that you use the stone a few times, you need to uh, sharp the stone too, because the stone will have some mark, will be ruined. In this way, you level again the stone, very easy. So remember to use it. So how to use the helper here? You put inside like this, and this one will help us to keep the right angles, 15 degrees of angle to sharp our knife. Usually uh, the stone have always two different uh, numbers. That is the porosity, the density of your stone you need to start always from the small number. For example, this stone have 400 on one side and 1000 on the other side. So we will start for, from the 400. If you have other stone with uh, 1000 and 6000, for example, you will start from 1000 and after you will use the 6000 and so on. There is stone that arrive also to 9000, if I remember well. So we take our stone, we put on our uh, support and we need to uh, move the knife up and down at least uh, 10 times each side, up to you. And you need to sharp all the knife, remember. How should be the movement, the movement of the knife? Now I'll show you. Remember the knife and the stone should be always wet so you can wet the stone like this and also the knife like this. After that you sharp 10-15 times that you have done this movement each side, we should turn the stone. If you have more confidence you can also do without this, without the helpers and you can do the movement like this. 
moving the knife. Okay, let's turn the stone. sharp our knife we need to test it so now I will clean it dry it please be careful uh, remember that uh, in the comment of the video in the description of the video you can find a link to buy all these knives and also the stone with 15% of discount remember if you have already bought these knives or if you know how to sharp the knife better than me probably you know it let us know down in the comment so i will do the test of the paper like everybody do it let's see if it works yeah. it's cutting with the wind is more complicated let's try with the bread that is my main concern 